now you can go ahead. Hi, and welcome to the Taco Cast. I'm Crystal. I'm Will. You're our audience, and thank you for joining us today. Welcome. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so today we're going to be talking about social media mm. and uh, bots on social media. Mm. So, wh which one should we start with first? You know what? Let's just uh, let's just start and then let the conversation go. Where okay, it goes we can organically. do that. Organically, all right. I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah. So, uh, I was looking. I was looking for information on Facebook, and I noticed that absolutely everything regarding this particular topic had been scrubbed from Facebook. What does that mean? Uh, that means it wasn't there, or access to it had been removed. How do you know it wasn't there? Uh, How do you know it was there in the first place? Um, you know, you're right. It may not have been, but typically when you're looking for something on Facebook, um, and it's not there, uh, you'll get something else. Did you mean this? You know? Um, and when you're searching for a particular person, and there's literally billions of people in the world, someone out there has got the same name. That, that's, you know, why I, I try to make friends with people whose last name isn't Smith, because I'm not sifting through all of those. It's a joke. Anyway, um... You'll get something, and literally I got nothing at all. Just a thing that says that there's no information. They tried a couple of different ways, I got nothing. And so uh, I was complaining about how it is that when I reported somebody for trying to dox a woman on uh, on a site that I was on, that when I... What is dox? Uh, that's when you release personal information about somebody. Oh, well, that's, just, that's just mean. Yeah, it is. It is mean and it's uncalled for. Um, and and I'll, I'll be perfectly honest, um, I run into a lot of unsavory people in online spaces, and I have never once thought to myself, hmm, I should put this person's private information out there for everybody to get. It's it's unacceptable. There's no reason for that whatsoever. So they're doing it's like har harassment. It is a, way a form of harassment. Try to get people to shut up, or yeah, or... it's a way of saying uh, I know who you are. I know where you are. And it's a way of silencing people. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, and uh, I don't... Uh, there's been a couple of incidences. Uh, one involving me. I don't know if you remember correctly. Uh, if you remember correctly. I don't know if you remember correctly. Uh, no, I don't know I if don't. you remember, I remember at remember all. Incorrectly. Um, uh, da, 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 da. There was uh, an anti-vaxxer that was particularly mad about me uh, because I had said that... Uh, autism is not caused by vaccines and that I was tired of people using autistic children to prop up their bullshit. Um, and that was the phrase I had used specifically, you know, um, stop using other people's kids for your bullshit. And uh, this anti-vaxxer was particularly mad at me, uh, started DMing me on Facebook and I was like, dude, stop. This is creepy. You're, you're not making a good point. You're, you're actually being creepier. Um, that apparently made them also really mad. Uh, they started threatening to dox me. They threatened to file false claims against you. I remember this. Mm -hmm. I remember it correctly, not incorrectly. <laughs> so, um, it's happened. It's a common intimidation tactic. Um, and of course, you know, you report them and then Facebook's like, this comment doesn't go against our community standards. Of course. I'm like, do you have standards? What are your standards? Their standards are only, you know, for their political... Well, yes and no. So I'm complaining about about this to a friend of mine who is a programmer. And he mentions to me that uh, Facebook is actually moderated by uh, in, in small groups by multiple different bots. It's not just one moderation group. And wherever you happen to be at the time that you're logging on, is sometimes going to change that bot that's moderating it and these programs evolve kind of organically based on the content that people are both posting and reporting so um, you log on wherever and if uh, if everybody that in that group that that bot is moderating um, whatever content you're posting and you're reporting is sometimes going to be influenced by that group that the bot's moderating. So it's not the same standards across Facebook. Okay. Which was news to me. And apparently uh, it's something that they do to, to uh, decrease lag. If there was just 
one entity doing all of the moderation for all of Facebook, it would take forever for anything to get posted, replied to. Well, uh, that makes sense the, the way this system is then. They're having uh, a lot of smaller groups, you know, bots, you yeah. know, which is a computer. It's a computer program yeah, that operates it's not independently. not like, you know, a robot. Or is it? Do, 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 do. <laughs> like your robot impression. <laughs> yeah. So it was interesting to me. Um, you know, I, I don't know a whole lot about computers. Uh, most of what I know. Um, I'm not tech support. <laughs> I know. I am very well aware that you are not tech support. Uh, you know, most of what I know is stuff that I have figured out because uh, something has happened and I need to fix it. And there's, you know, um, I have friends that I can call up and be like, my shit's not working. What's wrong? Um, but, you know, they're not always available at midnight. So I got to figure stuff out on my own. And I'm so glad that YouTube exists because there's been a lot of times that I, I have sifted through YouTube. Um, I still have not yet figured out how to uh, get HBO on my LG TV, though. I'm really mad about that. I was spending about an hour doing it last night. Never did manage to get HBO on our LG TV. I tried it a variety of different ways. I oh. tried screencasting from my cell phone. I tried screencasting from my PC. I tried looking it up using the browser on the LG TV because... The HBO is not an app that's available in their their little app thing for LG. Really? Mm -hmm. Didn't know that. No, I was irritated about that. I was looking forward to that uh, Lovecraft uh, Lovecraft Country uh, County um, show. Ever since they started advertising it, it's finally out now, and I wanted to watch it and wanted to watch it on my TV. But instead, I had to watch it on my PC because I couldn't watch it on my TV. I was very mad. It's very good. You guys should give it. Why a didn't you just take your laptop and plug it into the TV? Uh, well, because my laptop is currently owned by a four-year-old who's very possessive. Your tablet, then? Well, I suppose I could have done it on the tablet. I take your tablet, take your tablet yeah. and plug it into the TV. We are so far from, you know, our original topic of, uh... <laughs> you know what, it's fine. I don't think anybody really cares about, you know, if we can get it, you know, stuff on our TV or not. You should. This is important. If you're thinking about buying a TV... Am I looking at the right camera? You've yep, got yep, very yep, like yep, there's one right there. There's only one camera. I don't know what other cameras you think you're looking at. If you're thinking about picking up the television, <laughs> there's no camera over there. Well, there are a lot of cameras over there's there. There's a ton of cameras right yeah, over but there. The, none of those are actually on. <laughs> All those on the shelf over there are not on. Tell me, there's no cameras over there's there. There's only one camera right here. That speak to this camera there's right here. No, there's no camera over there. Oh, there used to be. All right, never mind. That's right there. Hi. So, can we go back to the original topic, or do we have to, like, you know, go on to something no, else? No, no, that topic is closed down. We have to move on. We cannot go back to it. It's everything that is ever possible. Because I had questions. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, I had questions. All right, so you said that there are bots. Yeah. Like, on Facebook, mm -hmm. there are small groups of, of bots. Is that the same for other social media? You know, I'm guessing that it is, but I'm not entirely sure. Um, we spoke mostly about Facebook. Um, uh, oh, brain stall again. Edit, okay. edit that out. Uh, <laughs> we spoke mostly about Facebook, but I'm guessing because a lot of these platforms operate similarly that it's going to be something, uh, something close to, but obviously not mirroring it exactly. But uh, Facebook actually owns a fair number of other social media platforms. They do. Or at least is associated with them, like Pinterest, I believe, and Instagram. Is it Pinterest? Definitely Instagram. Anyway. Yeah, they've got other... I don't understand media. either one of Do you know two. people get into political fights on Pinterest? How? I, that Right? I thought Pinterest was just for pictures of, like, knitting program, uh, knitting patterns and, like, flowers and shit. Like, art Recipes. stuff that people were interested in. Yeah. I had no idea that people got into political fights on, on Pinterest. I'm gonna I'm gonna send my picture at you. <laughs> I, yeah, how does that work? And Elizabeth was uh, comes downstairs and says, because um, you know the uh, the gentleman that that played uh, Black Panther died. Yeah, uh, Elizabeth he had cancer. Yeah, and died. Had cancer, and died, and filmed what four 
films while he had yeah. he had cancer, had colon cancer. Um, wow, that is amazing. When I was going through treatment for my cancer, yeah, most he, days he, I didn't even get off the freaking couch. He and this did man all is four doing... films while taking chemo. Yeah. I was just like, first off, I didn't know he was sick. I didn't know he had cancer. I didn't know he was going through chemo. And I was reading the you know the bio online last night, and not only did he film four movies while going through chemotherapy, high dose radiation, radiation and chemotherapy like they, you did, but he was going through that. And he still he still worked through the entire thing. Right. I was just like. Yeah, whatever. How did you get the energy to do I anything? Know, I know. You even, couldn't get off the couch. It was a good day if I got from the bed to the couch. And, like, I think I was saying a while back, uh, there's this one time I'd, I'd gone back to work and I was talking to this gentleman who had gotten a hold of his oncologist because he said he just thought something wasn't right. And I was like, yeah, you know, because, you know, when you're going through an illness like that, you get to the point where, you know, you can kind of tell. You don't know exactly what's wrong, but you're like, oh, yeah, I feel like throwing up more frequently than normal. I think something's wrong. Anyway, um, he's like, yeah, I knew something was wrong, and so I got a hold of my oncologist. Like, I just couldn't get my five miles in. I just got so tired, and I was so like... What? Right. The guy went running five miles every day, even when he was going through chemo. I was like, I didn't even run five miles before chemo. Uh, psh, get out of here with your five miles. You bullshit. Five you're miles? Your chemo and... I'm all just like, well, I made it to the couch, and I'm done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Five months. So we don't, we don't know much about the uh, bots on other social media. No, but like I said, I'm guessing that they're similar, um, because lag is going to be an issue for all of them. Uh, you want to keep your user experience as streamlined as possible, um, because especially, I'm I'm going to ascribe this to, to most of Europe, but I'm guessing it's kind of isolated primarily in the US but we're a very impatient people if you have to wait more than five seconds for something you know yeah yeah well, yeah we are a very impatient culture I mean look at the short attention spans that we, we already have as in general not everyone but in general speaking generalities here mm. but uh, you know, people have a short attention span it's, it's got to be now quickly if, yeah. you know deliver it there you know somebody clicks on something on Amazon and buys something they expect it to be sitting there on their front step in a you know, matter of minutes not a day I, I actually read a report about that the Amazon's one day delivery is still not fast enough for 60% of all those people who buy things they want it right now and so if they wanted it right now, why didn't they just go to their local store and buy it and then you right? have it right now? And I've done but, that. I have done that. I have. There's something that we have needed. I had to go to Walmart, which I don't, I don't Walmart. Um, uh, I, I don't, I don't like spending that much time in line because I'm an impatient person. Um, I don't remember what we were doing. We were doing... Oh, we were making smoothies for the kids. Making smoothies for the kids, and the blender broke. And there was literally no place that had a blender, except for Walmart. So I had to go all the way out there. But yeah, if you need it right that night, why would you order it on Amazon? Why would you not just go now, buy it? 60% of those who ordered things for one day, one day shipping on Amazon is still not fast enough for them. But yet, you, know, you think, well, you know, if I wanted it faster, how can I get it faster? Oh, I could go to the store and buy it. Up, right? Hey, you can even get contactless delivery now. You can just put shit in your cart, and then they'll bring it to you when you pull up to the store. Yeah. That, by the way, is the best thing to come out of quarantine. I'm so happy about that. What, I like contactless that. delivery? Uh, yeah, because if you're at work, and you, need to, you know you need to go shopping after work, right? You're at work. You know you need to go after work. You already know what you need to get. Go online. You put that stuff in takes maybe 10 minutes then you get off work and they just bring you your groceries you have just saved yourself oh, an hour about, oh shopping for like Kroger mm -hmm. Fred Meyer yeah oh yeah they, they, they put it right in your car for you mm -hmm. and then they you get to make fun of weird ass substitutions that they do like we didn't have food coloring so here's a potato do what <laughs> like we didn't have food coloring so here's a potato I, I didn't know they did that yeah 
Yeah. I mean, not necessarily things that bad, but some of the substitutions are freaking great. One of my uh, one of my employees was saying that she'd ordered oh god, what was it? It was it was some kind of flavoring, I think. You know, like like vanilla flavoring or something like that and so they're like we we didn't have any of that so here's some anise flavoring she's like wow those are not close at all other than they're both liquids <laughs> <That's> just, <laughs> do, do, you, do you have to still pay for the other one I, well yeah yeah you still have to pay well you don't pay for the one that you ordered you pay for whatever the substitution is wow yeah oh and that's why some people say no substitutions if you don't have it you know whatever I'll get it someplace else or you know what not or, you know, some people are like, yeah, if you don't have Campbell's tomato soup, I'll take whatever brand of tomato soup. And, you know, it is what people are expecting. They're not expecting stuff, you know, like, we were out of food color and here's rice. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> we're all out of milk. Here's a, here's a roll of toilet paper. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Although, actually, in today's society, that roll of toilet paper, you might be like, okay, I'm keeping this. Yeah, that, that's gold. Sweet. Trade that for cigarettes or something. Yeah, I've noticed that uh, it's getting there. People are starting to uh, hoard again. Um, they are right now. When I was at the store the other day, they had cleaned out the entire um, diapers, pull-ups, mm. wipes. Finding pull-ups is so hard. Yeah, well, they're they're, they're hoarding everything because now kids are getting ready to go back to school. They're hoarding everything. You know that has to do with you know kids going back to school. We watched a lady buy. Um, said so there's like twenty five um, spiral notebooks in a box. She bought everything that was on the shelf. So she bought maybe four hundred. And I was like, why? I asked her. I go, do you need all those? She said, yes, I do. <laughs> Are you okay? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Yeah. All right. You didn't look like that, that was uh, pleasant. It wasn't. Pleasant? Mm -mm. Mm. I think but, I hurt my ovary. Ugh. Yeah, but the, um, she uh, was going to, she bought all the, all the notebooks and she wouldn't share any of them. She's like, no, you can't have any. So I got three. She bought 400. I got three. But did you need that many? You uh, actually, I do because I use two at a time. I'm just messing. With <laughs> I have to have I have to have at least two at a time. One that I keep my notes in, and one's the final project for when I write the scripts out for my other videos. And I mean, if I'm using two at a time, I have to have four because I'll go through these two at the same equal amount. Then I'm going to need two more. And then I'm going to be out, and I'm going to. She's probably going to put all those notebooks on you know Craigslist or something. Start selling them off, two bucks a piece or something. Uh, like the freaking hand sanitizer, you know, and bleach. You know, it's capitalism, the... baby. Is it capitalism? Okay. I don't think that that's uh, what we had in mind. I mean, I'm not saying it is. I'm just saying that that's you know. That's until how it's you... something. Until it's something that you need, it, capitalism is great. It's... Right? Actually, that's a fair point. Uh, everybody's all about it right up until they can't get the resources that they need, and then all of a sudden it's bullshit. We went way off topic today. So there's like this bot on this, on this thing that people do on the computer. Yeah. The end. <laughs> <laughs> uh, summary, we did We did kind of get a little bit off topic, but it's fine. But... Uh, since you brought it up, anyways, I'm just gonna ask: Why can't get Why can't you get the HBO on the on the LG? Um, Is it like some kind of contract thing where they just won't let you you know, even download it? You know, I'm not I'm not entirely sure, honestly. Can you get Showtime? Uh, I didn't look. Oh, I'm not just curious if they have like the other like me you know, movie channels on there versus you know, and not HBO if it's a con contractual. Uh, it, you know what it issue. might be there, there's always all kinds of little things you know especially in the gaming industry it's awful you know proprietary contracts really? you can only offer this on this platform but this on this platform and if you want to offer it on this platform you gotta pay a shit ton of money oh there's there's lawsuits in the gaming industry all the time hmm. 
Yeah, it took so long to get a sequel to the Legacy of Cain series because Silicon Knights and Crystal Dynamics were involved in a lawsuit for all those years. I have no idea what any of that is. Um, <laughs> it's <laughs> so. I'll just sit, wrap it up and summarize. Somebody was suing somebody, and they didn't get another one because somebody was suing someone. The end. And I'm going to put it out there uh, that we still need um, we we need to bring that series back. We need to we, we need to revive the Legacy of Kane series and keep that going. It was good. It's one of my favorites. Okay. Well, anything else you'd like to add before we? Um, uh, thank you for coming to our podcast, which started out about Facebook and ended up about lawsuits in the gaming industry. She's, join she's us, right. join us next Sunday when we're talking about sharks and end up talking about toilet paper. <laughs> it's, it's about to work and true. We never know what we're going to be talking about. We have a topic written down. We have an actual real topic, and we diverged from it completely. All right. We need subscribers. We need viewers. We need people to enjoy this content. Right? Yeah. Want to give them an Easter egg at the end? Uh, I don't have any Easter eggs, man. I teased it all. I don't have any Easter eggs here. What, what kind of Easter eggs do you guys want? You know, like an Easter egg that's in a, in a video game. Because I, uh, I, was, I was trying to get make a reference to something that you that you were just talking about. But that's it, just like, like a hidden, like you just said it. Right. Yeah. Now it's not. No, it's not a surprise. Did I said it. Yeah. What we need to do is next one we have the little, we have the Easter egg ahead of time, and oh. we bury it in the content. Like they gotta look for it. Oh. Uh, like when you're editing it, you're just gonna put like a frame in there. That's like the Easter egg. Yeah. yeah so only the super dedicated viewers are gonna find it. Will they know what they're looking at when they find Absolutely it? Absolutely not. <laughs> Supplemental messaging mm -hmm. coming next week. All right, <clears throat> we're done. All right, thank you very much. Bye, guys. Have a great day. Stay safe out there until next time.